This video is part of the prerequisites to my robotics courses, and it will give you a high-level introduction to robot operating system. You will understand how to use it during the course projects. The robot operating system is a freely available software framework used to control robots. It comprises a collection of software libraries and tools that facilitate the construction and sharing of code among various robotics applications. Additionally, ROS fosters a worldwide open source community consisting of engineers, developers, and enthusiasts who collaborate to make robots better and make this field accessible to all. ROS is the backbone of a wide variety of systems like autonomous cars and research and development systems, to name a few. ROAS is not an operating system in the conventional sense of process management and scheduling, but rather a structured communications layer that sits on top of the host operating system. In 2007, ROAS originated with the intention of establishing a cooperative software framework dedicated to the advancement of robotics development. At that time, roboticists had to write all their operating code from scratch. Performing even a basic task, starting from writing the code, developing a framework controller, handling serial communication between the microcontroller and the main computer, and dealing with debugging could consume several weeks. When dealing with more extensive projects involving lots of code, numerous sensors, and actuators, the complexity multiplies significantly. ROS was created to alleviate the complexity of this challenging situation by offering a multitude of pre-built tools and packages developed by other roboticists. These resources significantly reduce the amount of time required for software development, allowing you to get your robot operational more quickly and effortlessly. ROS also gives you the ability to scale your robotics systems. ROS2 fills in the gaps of ROS1 and is suitable not only for robotic arms, but mobile robots, legged robots, drones, swarm robots, and autonomous cars. C++ and Python are officially supported, and in this series, we will use Python 3 to program our robots. The communication architecture of the ROS2 framework differs significantly from ROS1, and I will give you a concise overview of the architecture in this video to have a high-level understanding. Imagine a city a structured interconnected environment where every element plays a role in sustaining intelligent life. This metaphor will help us bridge abstract concepts with tangible mental models. In our city, each building represents a node. In ROS2, a node is a process, a self-contained computational unit. One building may house a camera node, continuously producing images. Another may contain a LiDAR node, mapping the environment. A motor controller node governs movement, while a path planner node computes trajectories. Each node is specialized, forming the distributed architecture of a robotic system. Buildings must communicate, not by shouting across courtyards, but via roads. In ROS2, these roads are topics, named communication channels. A road labeled slash scan carries streams of LiDAR data. Another slash CMD VEL carries velocity commands. The road network provides order, preventing chaos in the city's traffic of information. On these roads, we observe cars transporting cargo. These cars are the messages, structured packets of data with defined types. One message may contain a two-dimensional laser scan, another an RGB image, another a velocity vector. Messages are the medium through which knowledge flows across the system. Some buildings release cars into traffic. These are the publishers. Others receive them at their gates, the subscribers. A camera node, for example, publishes image data. A perception node subscribes, consuming those images. This publish-subscribe model is inherently decoupled. Publishers need not know their subscribers, ensuring scalability and flexibility in system design. Certain interactions require direct exchange. Imagine a post office. You send a letter and expect a reply. In ROS2, this is the role of services. They implement synchronous request-response communication. For instance, a localization node may query a map server. What is my pose in this coordinate frame? The service responds with an answer. Services provide precision where dialogue rather than broadcast is required. Some tasks, however, unfold over time. Consider commissioning a construction project. You submit a goal, receive periodic progress reports, and ultimately a final result. In ROS2, these are actions. 
a navigation node sends a goal, move to waypoint. The action server provides feedback, distance remaining, obstacles detected, percentage complete, until the task concludes. Actions elegantly manage asynchronous long duration activities. But what maintains the integrity of the city? Beneath the surface lies a system of invisible pipelines, ensuring that traffic flows reliably. This is DDS, the Data Distribution Service, the middleware upon which ROS2 is constructed. DDS automatically discovers nodes, manages quality of service parameters such as reliability and latency, and ensures that messages reach their intended destinations. It is the unseen infrastructure that transforms a collection of nodes into a coherent, dependable system. Cities are often recorded for analysis. In ROS2, this function is served by bag files. A bag file captures all messages traversing the roads, preserving a record of the system's communication. Later, this record can be replayed, allowing developers to reconstruct events, analyze failures, or train machine learning models with authentic robotic data. Bag files are essential tools for both research and diagnostics. To organize resources, a city requires warehouses. In ROS2, we call these packages. A package encapsulates nodes, message definitions, configuration files, and launch scripts. The package system promotes modularity and reusability. One package may provide navigation, another perception, another control. This architecture reflects the open source ethos of ROS, a community of warehouses, sharing tools to accelerate collective progress. This, then, is the communication architecture of ROS2, a modular, distributed, and robust framework for intelligent machines. By understanding nodes, topics, messages, publishers, subscribers, services, actions, DDS, bag files, and packages, we gain insight into the very language of modern robotics. It is a city built not of bricks, but of computation, collaboration, and discovery.